Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and today I'm going to share with you my newly completed mini album featuring Ephemera Queen from Graphic 45. My album is eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter by two and a half, and uh, I don't have a tutorial for this, but you can use the eight and a half by eight and a half. The pages are exactly the, the pages are eight by eight, so that doesn't change. So here's my cover. I have fussy cut um, some florals out of the 12 by 12 collection pack. This is a sticker and then this is a cut apart right here and then I've just layered in some patterns and solids just behind it. Uh, right here I've got a nice sticker that's I've uh, paper backed with some black cardstock. And there's our back. So there's our Femmer Queen. It's our inside liner. So. Um, I just did three pieces here. Um, I think it breaks it up. It's a it's a large page otherwise. Over here we've got a flap. And on the flap is a pocket with an insert. And this opens up to the left and to the right. Like so. And this is open back so you could tuck your photo behind it if you wanted to. Oops, I forgot to... Um, put in my inserts, so I'm just gonna go ahead and show those to you. So we did have enough paper to finish the album as well as cover both the front and back of the inserts, which I don't usually do, I usually run out of paper. Um, but we had enough paper to do that and we still have some paper left over. And it looks like I might have two, four, six, eight 12 by 12s that are left over and they're mostly patterns and solids. Okay, so we went through that page. Here's page two and this opens like so. This is one of the die cuts. Okay, we've got an insert, and that's holding this flap in place. This is another one of the die cuts. And this is page four and five. I really love this page. Um, we've got a die cut and then a sticker on top of it. And then here's a sticker, paperback sticker. And this opens this way, and this is a cut apart. Okay. We've got a die cut here, and I did the same thing over here. It's a different size, but two die cuts. And that's a lot of photo space. Okay, page four and five. Page six, we have another insert, and again, it's holding our flap closed. I think that turned out really pretty. I was kind of struggling with this page and uh, I think I'm happy, pretty happy with the results. Okay, now we've got a flap that opens to the left and then opens to the right. There we go. This is a sticker that I just put some cardstock behind. And then here we've got another flap and then there's a pocket installed on the flap and I put an insert in there. There you go. That is Ephemera Queen, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. Um, rush right over to our shop. We got tons of uh, Ephemera Queen in stock. If you haven't purchased yours yet, come on by. We're selling the bundles. I used a complete bundle and I have four eight by eights left and it looks like four, seven 12 by 12s that are completely intact. And then I've got scraps, of course, but uh, and so I've got a handful of scraps this size. So they're sizable and can easily be used on cards, um, but not enough to do two albums. So, okay, well, that's it for now. Um, I hope you liked our, our latest release. All the tutorials are available and online if you want to build one for yourself. Thanks again. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create. See you soon.